finally you are going to pray. The Bible says, fear not, for I will help you. I will uphold you with my right hand of my righteousness. Help him at last. Help him at last. No, anyone will miss heaven where the trumpet will sound. You are going to pray, God, give me the grace. Uphold my hand. Hold me with the right of your righteousness and take me to glory when the time will come. Hold on, Father Lord. Father in heaven, I call upon you this night as pray. Hold you to the right. Hold you to the right. That I will want to pray to God. You will stop by. You will stop by. I 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 will stop by. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Our Father and our God, the ancients of days, the I am that I am, oh God, that answer prayer. Unto this our flesh come. Mm. We have tendered our petition before you spiritually, and we have prayed. And we have asking you, Father, that everyone in this prayer conference tonight, give everyone a testimony tonight Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I come against that spirit of fear upon the life of that individual over there. You spirit, spirit of fear, fear, I rebuke you. I take authority over that spirit of fear in your life. I bind that spirit. I cast that spirit out of your life from tonight. And I pray for sound health and sound mind will be your portion in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I command every oppression upon that sister, all the pain in your back, on your knees, on your waist. I command the strength of God to touch you right now. Receive your healing right now in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I decree life upon your marriage. Every Amen. Marriage Amen. That is dead. I command life upon it right now. And you, any I command you to remove your hand from that family. I command the spirit of God, the power of God, to crush all those satanic networking in that place right now. Be delivered in Jesus' name. Amen. From tonight, dominion. From tonight, authority. From tonight, power. From tonight, the grace of God will flow upon your life. You will not be defeated again. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. I just want to encourage anyone of us including all the pastor, the administrator, or anyone of us that is online. I don't know how Sister uh, Esther only to be sick, but I'm looking for somebody in prayer one and two that will be uh, encouraging people to drop their prayer, uh, their prayer request. I observe that any time I, I or Pastor Ali will do it, People drop a lot of prayer requests. That's mean they need remember. They need to, they want to see that people are reading them. You get what I'm saying? So please, I will encourage. It's not the work of I. Uh, it's not the work of. It's not my work. It's not the work of Pastor Ali only. Any one of us, when you wake up in the morning, just take it as assignment. Encourage people. And then if you cannot be, you have not been opportunity to be leading prayer, and you are doing that. You are you are doing the work of the Lord because a problem here is household. Talkless that people will be praying for those people, and I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, as we are doing it, Almighty God will honor us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Uh, please, I want us to take it uh, very serious as a personal assignment to uh, to Almighty God, and the, the joy of the Lord will continue to be our strength. In Jesus' name. Uh, I see one name in Kaukot. 
Uh, Pastor Mike, please ready. Uh, when the, this name, uh, Inka Ukot, we want to allow you at uh, this point to say whatever you want from God from this moment to December. December is our testimony month, and then we have been praying individually or corporately that if, that God will, will surprise everyone. For so, uh, Inka Ukot, I want you to remove yourself and please. Request for whatever you want from the Lord, and people will pray for you in Jesus' name. Amen. Please promote yourself. Yeah, I can't see the person in car. Oh, God, kindly promote yourself. Okay, let me see. See, they can uh, I can't see the person or what you say, but God will pray for him or her in the name of Jesus Christ. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, I see another name, uh, Olu Kumi. If the person can please or what yourself and tell people what you want God to do for you, uh, by the grace of the Lord. And Pastor Mike, please take note so that you can help us to raise it. And Pastor Ali will conclude for us. I'm a pioneer pastor here in Ibadan. Uh, just praying that God will prosper the work in our hands and just meet our needs. We are trusting God for light, security light around the church and so many other things, crusade equipment. Just that God Almighty, we need children church too. The needs are many, but God, trusting God that is more than able to see us through the work of the ministry. Amen. 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 As a point of contact too, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hey, Pastor Ali, Pastor Mike, please take note of our pastor so that um, we can be working in hand together. The joy of the Lord will continue to be your uh, Amen. 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 I want to talk. Almighty God will be with you in Jesus' name. And we will be with everyone that we are in that show in the name of Jesus Christ. Pastor Mike, over to you. When Pastor Lee will handle for us. Pastor Mike. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, Pastor Mike, uh, uh, the mic is off. Maybe it's not in a place where he can uh, take charge. Okay, let's lift up our pastor to the hands of God. You are what I say is a pioneer pastor in the Lord's okay. service. Mm. So we are going to lift him up that all his heart desire concerning the church that God will meet. It is the work of God. It's not our own work. That God will provide everything they need in the church. They need uh, crusade equipment. They need so many things in the church that God will open heaven. That before the end of this year, that God will put testimonies in their mouth. Shall we pray? Amen. Almighty oh, Father, we pray for our pastor. Lord, they have said that they need things in the church. Father, we pray that you open heaven, you connect our pastors, people that will be able to get my hand. In the name of Jesus, we pray that you will be able to in If you listen to the way the pastor presented the request. He didn't ask for anything for himself. Mm. He's asking for things so that the work of God will move forward and prosper. 
Yes. Hey, did that take me to the time of Solomon when God said, ask whatsoever you want me to do for you. He said, I need wisdom to rule your people, to guide your people. And God gave him wisdom and gave him riches. So we are going to pray and commit our pastor to the hands of God. That as he has the interest of God in his heart, that God will have his own interest in his mm -hmm. heart, shall we pray? we pray. Amen. Finally, we are going to pray for that church that the church will move forward. Amen. That the church will be a church where testimony will be had all time. The Bible says, my people shall be willing in the days of my power. Let's pray that the power of God be upon that church. That by this, by way we are all testifying that our pastor will testify of the goodness of God in the church. And after this, Pastor Ali can grant our praise. Thank you. Go ahead. Father, we commit your church, O oh Lord, into your hand. O Lord, you said your word that my people are in the church. Bless your heart with that church. We come with me solution. Everywhere. As we begin to come, we are saying as a child of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, you know how you do it, but if you call on me, Father God, prove yourself. Father God, prove yourself. Prove yourself, O Lord. God. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. As well, you can round up, sir. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We, we bless you. We bless you. We bless you. Father, we thank you because you are our Father. We give you the glory. We give you the honor for all what you have accomplished tonight. Father of our Lord Jesus, we lift up your, your servant before you. We are asking, we are praying. That all trust will be given to him. Amen. In the church, in the group, in the district, where he, wherever they are over there, where they are ministry. I am praying that power from above, from henceforth, anointing from above, from henceforth, and the authority from heaven, from henceforth. I pray wherever he stand up or declare the word of God, I pray signs and wonders will follow him with his ministry in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I also pray for him, O oh God, that open door of salvation, open Amen. door of deliverance, Amen. door of my precious I pray, Amen. Church, I pray, give him an open door of salvation and through him. The door of salvation, people will come into the kingdom in Jesus' name. Amen. I decree from henceforth. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I pray once and again, all those who are stopped coming to that church. All those, because of one reason or the other, they stop coming. I see mm. the Holy Ghost will go after them. This Sunday, Amen. if Jesus said, I pray, 
those people, you will bring them back to their to that church in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All what they need, equipment, all what they need, resources belong to you. All what they need, we pray. But our God, our God, our God, our God will supply all your needs according to his glory in Christ Jesus. We pray, oh God, supply every need that they are praying and expecting and waiting for in, in that church. We pray you will supply those needs in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We pray that people that they will use their substance to serve God, people that will use their purpose party to serve God, I pray. Such people, you will have, you will have them to, 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 his, to that church, so that as they come in, all their resources and everything, they will use it to serve God and so shall they be in Jesus' name. Amen. Pastor Ojo, you just joined us very late when we are, when we are about rounding off. And, Pastor, and Brother Eric, you just joined us when we are about rounding off. I pray for both of you. That the blessing of tonight, I pray that in the name of Jesus, receive your own package in yeah. Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you because you know you have passed our prayer. Amen. We saw we every love. family in this prayer conference with their blood. No body, no family, no one will die. Every spirit of death, spiritual Ooh. death, financial death, marital Ooh. death, we cancel it out for Ooh. the life of your people from tonight. And I decree, from henceforth, we shall be stronger than our enemies in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father, for the answer. In Thank Jesus' you, name, we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you. God bless you. Please do not forget Saturday. For, I think we have declared Saturday for those people who are, by the grace of the Lord, who have delay in marriage. I, uh, I just been thinking that we are not going to limit it to those people who are delay in marriage. Those people who are even ready for spouse immediately. That by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, when I made the bone of them, the bone of bone, the flesh of that flesh, for better, for worse, for worse, for better, Lord, we provide for them in Jesus' name. And then everybody in mind, daughter, son, family, friends, do not forget to bring that. If we don't call you on that Saturday, please call us. Uh, raise for said pastor, pastor, stop. I have somebody I want you to pray for. It's a day of declaring your pastor. I just had something from Pastor Ali today. If you are not preparing to, to be a winner, uh, if for you are, if you are preparing to be a winner, you must be preparing for war. God will yeah. help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. God bless you all. Bless you. Before, you. Take care Before we share the grace, hello, sir. Hello, sir. Uh, please, sir, our pastor brother, uh, reach out to whosoever that invited you among the pastors so we can add you to the pastor's platform. Okay. okay. Uh, please. Ali, because please. we meet every Sunday at 9 to 10 o'clock in the night, every Sunday, all pastors, so that you can be added. All right, sir. Okay. God bless you, sir. Yes, sir. Right. Pastor Ali, I, I know you are very good in that area. Every one of us good in that area. So, Pastor Ali, I know by the grace of the Lord, he, he will work on. I'm not limited, Pastor. Uh, please, uh, please, the Lord, please. Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry for cutting in. Please, I, I don't know uh, if the, the, the pastor uh, it is to send it to send the number to the pastor so that he, so that he can get the right source so that we can work on that number. Please. Everybody, is everything clear now, including our pastor and the all the oh, Joe, is everything clear? So, yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, sir. We have okay. Sir. okay. Uh, I'm sorry, sorry. to mention Pastor Ali. Everyone, sorry, sir. The network is not a Okay, let's share the grace. Hello, sir. The network is not favoring me. Praise the Lord. Uh, Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We transfer you to you. To, to, to where we are. Praise the Lord. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Hello, where are yes, we to, sir? Yes, we Before we share the grace, Pastor Ali, 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 Pastor
Yeah, we have him. That's him. We cannot hold the meeting on Saturday. That's simple as mm-hmm. see. The headquarters uh, program oversee, uh, supersede any of our meetings. Yes, sir. So if it's not, we can hold the meeting. That's just it. Okay. Uh, but for the program, the next one, by the grace of the Lord. Uh, this is not the first time we have been witness this. And, uh, we just have to be giving that or not. So let's share the grace. Anyway, I know, uh, uh, we, we are still going to give uh, publicity about it on the platform. So Pastor Ali, please, help me to take notes. All right, sir. Okay. Let's share the grace together. And if all our pastors, please take notes. Give publicity. Especially... Pastor Mike, as far as your program and uh, that of Pastor Dafo, let us know. Put it on platform. God will help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's share the grace together. <clears throat> May the grace of our Lord, 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 Lord Jesus Christ, Christ and the love of God, Lord, Lord, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit the grace of our Lord, be with us now for us now and forever. Amen. Thank you. We are not doing it in doing it. Jesus' name. Amen. Um, how do you put the prayer in the name of Jesus Christ? Thank you, sir. God bless you. Sir. Thank you, sir. of heaven for the privilege you have given to us once again to come before you in this solemn uh, time, this moment of prayers, this sweet hour of prayers. Lord, it's a time to separate ourselves unto the Lord, to withdraw from every activity and to look up unto you and to concentrate our attention on you knowing fully that God, you are the God that answers prayer and you have commanded us to pray. You told us in your word, they said men ought always to pray and not to faint. And so God of heaven, we are here tonight, oh God. And we are praying, oh dear Father, that God, our guardian here tonight, even though we are in different places scattered here and there, yet united by the blood of Jesus, united by the name of Jesus, united by the word of God. Lord, we are praying that tonight, O God, you will visit every one of us tonight by the power of your spirit tonight in Jesus' name. Father, we are praying once again for as many who are weary, who are tired, as a result of the battles of life, as a result of the challenges that is confronting them, Father, we are praying that tonight, O God, they will receive comfort from heaven, even in their soul, in their spirit tonight, O God, in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray that God of heaven, let there be a manifestation of your glory, power, even in our midst tonight, O God, in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Tonight, by the grace of God, we have come to the presence of God, as I said. We didn't come here because we want to meet man. We didn't come here because we want to look at anybody or we want to hear the voice of human being. We are here because we want to hear directly from our Father in heaven. We are here because we want God to visit us. We want God to to do something special, something spectacular in our individual lives. And that's why the Bible commands us in Psalm 103, which is a popular verse that we know very well. It said, bless the Lord, O my soul. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Are there some benefits that God of heaven has done for you and for me? Since the year started, or let us even go back again 
since the time we were formed in our mother's womb, up to this very present time, how many times we have traveled, God has helped us to escape accidents, so many things that will have claimed our lives, untimely deaths, even when we were, yet, when we were still unbelievers, not knowing that God was preparing us for this glorious time when we are going to be saved, when we are going to encounter the Lord Jesus Christ in our journey of life. We want to bless God. We want to appreciate God. Look at our developmental stages that we went through from childhood to adolescent age. And now many of us, we are matured adults. We want to give all the glory to God. We want to say, Father, why it not because of you? How many of our, your, your, our colleagues, our mates, that we started life together, many have gone, many have died, many we cannot, we don't even know their are about again. And here we are in the presence of God. Please, can you open your mouth and appreciate God tonight? Can you please open your mouth and exalt God? The God of heaven that has preserved your life and preserved my soul. The God of heaven that has sustained us all through in this journey of life. Open your mouth and give him all the glory this night. Let's thank the Lord. Let's appreciate God because of all these wonderful works in our lives. David said, he said, bless the Lord, oh my soul. I want your soul to bless the Lord, brothers and sisters. I want your spirit to appreciate God. I want you to appreciate God because of all his wonders in our lives. Wonders of salvation, wonders of deliverance, wonders of sanctification, wonders of the demonstration of his power on daily basis in our life. Please open your mouth and give all the glory to God. It's not a time to complain, it's a time to praise God. It's not a time to begin to say, well, what has God done for me? It's, God has done so many things for us. Please open your mouth and bless the name of the Lord. I appreciate that. I want to hear us praise, brethren. I want to hear our voices. Unmute yourself so that we can hear one another. Unmute yourself so that we can let there be communication. Open your mouth and begin to pray to God. Let's appreciate God. Let's honor him. Let's be grateful unto him for all his marvelous deeds unto us. Marvelous deeds in our church, in our lives. Open your mouth and give all the glory to God. Not many people like to praise God. And I want you to understand that there is power when we praise God. There is power when we honor God, when we adore Him, when we allow His name. He wants to hear you praising Him. He wants to hear you praising and appreciating God. Open your mouth and begin to praise God and say, Father, thank you once again, O Lord. Is that so you have helped me in this journey, O God? Just like what someone said, he said, Ebenezer, is that to as the Lord help us on this platform, in this prayer platform? Is that to as the Lord help us in our journey to the kingdom of heaven? Is that to as the Lord help us to triumph over life adversities and problems? Is that to as the Lord help us to overcome all the activities of the devil? Open your mouth and begin to praise God. Oh, I don't know so many, I don't know many, uh, you know, many uh, foreign dance that the enemy has been throwing against our lives in the day and the night at all times, yet God of heaven has been helping us to escape all those arrows of the wicked. Open your mouth and begin to praise God and say, God, we are grateful unto you. Thank you for the demonstration of your power. Thank you because of your abiding presence in our soul. Thank you for the way you have been helping us, O oh God. In spite of all odds, O oh God, you have said, God, God, my Father, God, Lord, we thank you. Father, we honor you, God. We exalt your name, O oh God. Thank you because of the manifestation of your glory, of your presence, of your power in our lives, in our midst, in our soul, in our spirit, in our family. Almighty God, everlasting Father, thank you for the way you have taken us all through these years, O oh God. Despite all the challenges of the day, despite all the opposition coming from the enemy's camp, he tried to push us on every side so that we can fall but we thank you because your grace has been upholding us your grace has been sustaining us your grace has been helping us to overcome in the battle of life oh dear God we praise you oh dear Father we thank you in Jesus name we are praying Amen in Jesus name we pray Amen, Amen.
We bring the sacrifice of praise into the house of our God. We bring the sacrifice of praise into the house of our God as we open, as we offer on to the the sacrifice of thanksgiving as we offer on to the the sacrifice of praise Hallelujah, we bring the sacrifice in the house of Adam. We bring the sacrifice of praise into the house of our God as we open. As we offer on to thee the sacrifice, see the thanks given. As we offer on to thee the sacrifice, see the praise. Amen. 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 We want to thank God once again for all oh, the blessings on this platform, all our family members. We want to give all the glory once again unto God. Our God has been helping us to triumph. Of course, every one of us, we have one challenge or the other, confronting us here and there. But God has been helping us. He said, thanks be to God, which giveth us the victory, victory over the devil, victory over sin, victory over principalities and powers, victory over every satanic allurement. We want to say, God of heaven, thank you once again, O oh Lord, for all our victory that you have been granting unto us, victory over temptation, victory over the challenges of life, victory over all the vicissitudes of life, victory over all the opposition of the enemy. Open your mouth and begin to appreciate God once again tonight. Let's give him all the praises. Let's begin to adore him and begin to magnify the Lord. Let's thank him because of everything God has done. Please, oh, I want you to spend a meaningful time to praise God. I want you to, tend to spend a very quality time to praise God. Open your mouth and begin to praise God once again. Let's adore Him because our God is great. Our God is mighty. Our uh -huh. is greater than the problem that uh -huh. you're going through. He's greater yes. than that challenge that you're going through. He's greater than any kind of problem that is confronting you on every tell you he has all the power to do all things or in the time of Jehoshaphat all that God needed from them was to, for them to praise him why don't you open your mouth and praise God tonight why don't you open your mouth and adore him because our God is mighty our God is powerful our God is excellent our God is gracious and is merciful let's thank you once again he said are we have mercy or whom are we have mercy why don't you praise him and say, God, thank you for counting us worthy tonight. Thank you for counting us worthy tonight, oh God. Thank you for all that all that you have done for us and what you are doing right now and what you are still doing, going to do subsequently. Thank you for the demonstration of your presence and power. Thank you be once again because of your glory. Open your mouth and begin to magnify the Lord. Let's praise God, let's praise God, let's worship God, let's honor God. Let's adore him because our God has no rival. Our God has no competitor. He's an, he's an incomparable God. He's a mighty God. He's mightier than the mightiest. He's greater than the greatest. He's stronger than the strongest. He's holier than the holiest. He's whiter than the whitest. Why don't you open your mouth and praise him tonight? Let's worship God. Let's magnify the Lord. In Jesus' name. Him, we have prayed. Amen. 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 We want to pray tonight, brethren. We want to call upon the Lord. 
in Psalm 24, we are told here yeah, the word of God made us to understand. He said, Who shall ascend to the hill of the Lord? Or who shall dwell in his holy place? He said, He that has clean hands and a pure heart. He that has clean hands and a pure heart. He that has clean hands and a pure heart. Holiness within, holiness without. You are clean within, you are clean without. Getting ready for the trumpet sound. Getting ready for the coming of the Lord. Getting ready because Christ is coming for a glorious church. He's not coming for an inglorious church. He's not coming for a defiant church. He's not coming for a church where there is hypocrisy. He's not coming for the church where there is division. He's not coming for the church where there is disharmony. He's not coming for the church whereby we cannot see eyeball to eyeball. He's not coming for that kind of church where there is depravity and sin and iniquity and unrighteousness. Is coming for a glorious church that a church that, that has no wrinkle, that has no spot or blemish or any such thing. We want to pray tonight, brethren. We want to look into our life, examine ourselves once again. We want to say, God, how is my life is it before you, God? As you use your searchlight to look into my life, oh God, how is the state of my heart, oh God? A little fox, a little fox there, a little, a little sin, a little leaven that leavened the whole long, a little bitterness against one another. A little hatred is told there, a little malice is told there, a little anger is told there, a little wrath is still there. We want to ask God and say, God, here am I presenting myself once again, oh God. Open your mouth and begin to pray, my brothers and sisters. Let's not be in a hurry because we want to bind and loose. No, that's not the important thing now. The important thing is self-examination. The important thing is for us to look inward. The important thing is for us once again to examine our life. Do we have a right stand in the presence of God? Open your mouth and begin to pray to God this night and say, God of heaven, O oh Lord, cleanse every sin, O oh God. Purge every blemish, every iniquity out of my spirit, my soul tonight. By the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, make me all tonight. Make me all tonight. Open your mouth and begin to tell the Lord and say, God, O oh Lord, I present myself unto you, God. Gracious God, let the blood of the everlasting covenant begin to make us white as snow. Begin to make us presentable in your sight, O oh God. Open your mouth and call upon the Lord that God will walk upon our life and perfect holiness. Perfect holiness in our soul, in our heart, in our thought, in our imagination. Open your mouth and pray to God tonight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. We want to pray once again. Are we hearing my voice, brethren? Yes. In Jesus' yes. name, we pray. Amen. Amen. We want to pray, brethren. We want to call upon the name of the Lord. You know, when God was, I was talking about Job, and I was really challenged about the life of that man. Even though the time that he lived, of course, the Bible has not been written as at that time. But look at the scripture very well. In chapter 1 of Job, verse 1, he said there was a man. He didn't say there were men. Please get it right. Heaven singled him out. The Almighty God singled that man out. He said there was a man. There was a man in the land of Uz, whose name was Job. Then he began to talk about, Holy Spirit began to tell us, he said, and he was, he was a perfect man. He was perfect and upright and fear God and fear God and exude evil. Do you look into our life once again and look at our church now? Where is the perfection we are talking about? Don't you think that the standard of holiness is almost going down gradually in many assemblies now? The way brothers and sisters are conducting themselves in the sight of God, of course, we are not the one to evaluate, we are not the one to judge, but many things, by their fruit we shall know them. Look at what is emanating, what is emerging, what is coming out. Look at the product of everything that is coming out. We want to pray tonight and say, God, oh Lord, perfect that which concerns me. Look at there was a man, there was a particular king. The, his name was Amaziah, Second Chronicles 25, verse 2. He said, and he did that which was right in the sight of the Lord, in the eyes of the Lord, but not with a perfect act. Brother, 
Sisters, we want to pray tonight. I want you to really pray concerning the state of your heart, the condition of your heart at this time. Supposing the rapture should take place, brother, supposing the trumpet should sound at this time, can we say that we can make this heaven eventually? With what is happening all around us, maybe a little hypocrisy. Remember the word of God that says, He says, judgment will begin in the house of God. Because in the house of God, that's where you see hypocrisy. In the house of God, that's where you begin to see two sisters, they cannot see eyeball to eyeball. Among the choir, they are dear. Among the prayer warrior, they are dear. And then you begin to see so many things happening. We want to ask God tonight, Oh God, I need this perfection. Oh God, perfect holiness in my life. I need uprightness in my life. I need the fear of God in me. And I want to have the hatred for sin. Open your mouth and begin to pray tonight, brothers and sisters. Let's open our mouth and begin to pray and call upon the Lord tonight. And say, God, without this holiness, how can we get to heaven? Without this holiness, how can we make it eventually? Open your mouth, pray, brother. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Let's ask God and say, God, perfect purity in my life, perfect holiness in my life, oh God. Holiness is the nature of God. He said, be ye holy for I, the Lord your God, I am holy. Open your mouth and begin to pray. I know if it is if you are binding and losing, every one of us, our voice will go higher higher than what we are hearing now. But we are praying for something that we make want to, you know, that we, that, we, eh, that we give us heaven, that we give us eternal life. And then we are not praying, you know, we are not even, we are, we are not even showing much concern. We want to pray and say, God of heaven, oh Lord, I desire this holiness of God. Blessed are the pure in heart for they shall see God. We want to see him on the final day. Open your mouth and begin to ask God and say, God, purify me once again by the power of your spirit, oh God. Oh Lord, Lord, everlasting God, purity of heart, oh God, of brightness in my soul, in my heart, in my thought, in my imagination, in every area of my life, oh God. Put your fear in the heart of every member of the church. Put your fear in our heart, oh God, in the heart of our youth, in the heart of the children, in the heart of the adults, oh God. Put your fear once again upon everyone, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, open your mouth and begin to call upon the name of the Lord. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. I want to pray once again, brethren. He said, Has thou not known that Isaiah chapter 14, verse 28? He said, Don't you know, has thou not known, has thou not heard that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, he fainted not? It is we that we used to faint. We faint in prayer, we faint in evangelism, we faint in, in studying the Bible. In fact, we faint in many things. He said, Has thou not known, has thou not asked that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, he fainted not, neither is weary. He said, There is no searching of his understanding. He said, He giveth power to the faint. We want to pray tonight, brothers. We want to pray tonight, sisters. Where is where are the good old days? The power as of all. Elisha was a man that was greatly anointed. Elijah told Elisha, ask what I shall do for you before I be taken away from you. And Elisha looked here and there. He said, if I ask for clothes, clothes will fade away. If I ask for riches, riches, one day everything will disappear. If I ask for all the material things and the mundane things of this world, everything will soon disappear. He, he asked for the spirit. He said, I said, let a double portion of the spirit be upon me. We want to pray tonight. We want to ask God and say, God, we are tired of all this lukewarm life. We are tired of all these kind of weaknesses in our soul. We want the power of God, the supernatural power, the Holy Ghost power from heaven to descend mightily upon everyone, upon the brothers, upon the sisters, upon the pastors on this platform. Open your mouth and begin to pray to God. Open your mouth and ask God and say, Father, oh Lord, empower me tonight. Oh God, empower Empower me tonight, O oh God of heaven, O oh Lord. The power, O oh God, to serve you. The power to pray the word. The power to pray. The power to evangelize. The power to be at my best for you, God. Open your mouth and begin to ask God tonight. Let there be a deposit of the supernatural power. 
for lunch. The Bible said when they dug the Pentecost was fully come, they were all together in one place, just as all of us now, we are on this platform. We are connected. Distance is not a barrier. Open your mouth and pray. It is by faith. We are connecting heaven by faith. We are seeking the face of God by faith. We are asking God and say, God, oh Lord, open heaven tonight. Oh God, open heaven tonight. Let the power come down tonight upon our soul tonight, oh God. All the coldness, all the lethargy, all the weaknesses, all the prayerlessness, all the emptiness, all the dryness, let everything vanish away. Open your mouth and begin to pray. When power come, our prayer life will change. When power come, in fact, we operate in the power of the Spirit of God. Open your mouth and begin to ask God tonight. Let's call upon the Lord and say, God of heaven, oh Lord, empower me tonight, oh God of heaven. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, almighty God, everlasting Father, begin to release your power upon everyone, oh God, all the thirsty soul. Put the thirst and hunger for, for the power. Thirst and hunger for the anointing of the Holy Ghost into our hands, oh God. Let it come once again upon us tonight, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, almighty God, I'm asking my Father tonight, oh God, begin to empower all our sisters, all our brothers, everyone, all our brothers, our pastors on this platform, oh God, let everyone once again be empowered and be strengthened, oh God, in the name of Jesus. You told us you are not going to leave us comfortless. You said, I will send another comfort unto you. He will teach you all things. He will abide with you. He will guide you into all truth. Oh God, I'm asking my Father tonight, oh Lord, my Father, release your power upon us, oh God. John the Baptist says, I did baptize you with water to repent of, but he that cometh after me is mightier than I. Who son that strap, I'm not worthy to undo, he shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. Almighty God, let that fire come, O oh God. Holy Ghost and fire, let it descend upon everyone on this platform, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Almighty God, I'm asking my Father, visit us and fresh, O oh God, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. We want to pray once again. This is a new week. And God has promised us, said, remember you know the former things. Neither consider ye the things of old. He said, I be old. He said, be old. I will do a new thing. What is that new thing that you have been asking God for? In your pri private life, in your family life, in your concerning your health, he said, I will do a new thing. All is waiting for. He said, Jeremiah 33 verse 3, he said, call, call upon me. And I will answer thee. And I will show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. We want to ask God tonight. We want to pray and say, God, look at this area of my life, oh God. I've been asking. It may be physical thing, financial thing, material thing. Open your mouth and begin to pray tonight. And tell it to Jesus Christ. And tell it to God. And say, Father, once again, oh God, this is my earnest and desire. He said, be careful for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. That's why we are calling upon him tonight. That's why we're seeking the face of our Father in heaven. That's why we're starting before the Lord tonight and say, God, oh Lord, bring this it on tonight. Oh Lord, this particular need in our individual life, in your family life, in your marital life, in your home, in the life of your children, in the life of your husband, you want to ask God and say, God, oh Lord, attend to this particular need, oh God. Attend to this need of my life, oh God. Don't leave me alone like this, oh God, in this wilderness. Wilderness of, 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 of no, going through all the challenges all alone. We are not we are not orphans. Open your mouth and pray. We have a God in heaven that cares for us. He say, casting all your cares upon him for he cared for, him, for you. Open your mouth and begin to pray now. Open your mouth and begin to call upon the Lord and say, God, oh Lord, attend to me and visit me, oh God. Give us testimony, my Father, once again tonight, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let's call upon the Lord. Let's ask the Lord and say, God, oh Lord, let your hand be so mighty upon our lives, oh God, to bring that result, that desire of our hand, oh God, because the desire of the righteous shall be granted unto him. Open your mouth and begin to call upon the Lord and say, God, oh Lord, Grant my heart desire. Oh Lord, 
Lord grant my heart desire. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. We want to pray for as many that are going through troubles of life. Let me tell you, the challenge you are facing may not be like the challenge other people are facing. Some are having marital problems. Some, their own challenge, maybe it's a kind of, maybe in their workplace, facing a lot of opposition, left and right because of their stand for the Lord. Some, it may even be that they have been married for several years now, and there is no issue in the family. Don't you know that that's another battle? I mean, some, they are battling with poverty. They are battling with penury. Some, their case is like the case of Jabez. Oh, that even the mother plays a court, he said, because I bore him with sorrow. And he mentioned and he called his name Jabez. But that man did not stop there. He said, I'm not going to die with this sorrow. He said, I'm not going to die in this agony. He said, I'm not going to die in this stage. He cried to God. He called upon the Lord. The Bible says, Jabez called upon the Lord. He called upon God. He said, oh, that thou wouldest bless me indeed. To tell you the state of his heart, he was, play, he was praying with pain, with passion in his mind. He said, oh, that thou wouldest bless me. God, if there is anything you need to do for me, you need to bless me. I, 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 are there people on this platform that are saying the same thing, just like Jabez said, oh, God, you must turn my situation around. You must turn everything around, oh, God, even concerning my life, concerning my family, concerning my destiny. Open your mouth and begin to pray to God tonight. Brothers and sisters, open your mouth and call upon the Lord. Oh, God, if you can do it in the life of Jabez, my own will not be an exception. Open your mouth and begin to pray to God. God, put it there. If he can do it in the life of of Jesus, if we can do it, do it for Jacob, of course, he will do it in our own life also. All we need to do is to open our mouth. He said, ask, and it shall be given unto you. Seek, and you shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. For everyone that asketh, receiveth, and he that seeketh, findeth. And to him that knocketh, it shall be opened. Open your mouth and begin to ask God and say, God, turn everything around, O God, and give me testimony, O God of heaven. Turn everything around Oh God, all the poverty, all the penury, all the joblessness, all the life of suffering and agony and pain. Lord, take it away tonight. Enough is enough. Enough is enough, oh God. Oh Lord, fill our mouth with testimony. Let's begin to open our mouth and begin to cry to God and say, God, those who are looking for the fruit of the womb, oh God, visit them tonight, oh God, by your power. Those who are, who are of age and have been saying, God, when am I going to get an husband to get married to? When am I going to get a wife to get married to? Oh Lord, we want to pray and say, God, oh Lord, attend to the needs of these brethren, oh God of heaven. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let's open our mouth and begin to pray. Every barrier, God will take it away. Every entrance, God of heaven must take it away tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, open your mouth and call upon the Lord. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. We want to pray tonight. We want to call upon the Lord. We want to ask God and say, Father, every plant which you have not planted in my life, every plant which you have not planted in my family, I don't know what the enemy secretly planted. He said, why men let the enemy came and so and, and so tars among the wheat. That particular thing that has been troubling your life, maybe that sickness, that affliction, that thing that is there, that the end all the entanglement of the devil. I said it, I said entanglement of Satan, entanglement of the powers of darkness in your home, in your life, in your family. We want to pray tonight. Oh God, set them on fire. 
open your mouth and begin to pray tonight. Let the fire from heaven begin to consume everything tonight. All those satanic entanglements in our lives, oh God, let everything be rooted and be burnt up completely by fire. Even tonight, in the name of Jesus, open your mouth and call upon the name of the Lord. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Every demonic and satanic entanglement against our lives, against your wife, against your husband, against your children, you want to pray and say, God, tonight, oh God, we release the fire from heaven. Our God is a consuming fire. Let that fire come down tonight and begin to burn everything tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus, somebody is getting liberated now. Somebody is getting delivered right now. A family is being, it is being liberated now. Families are being set free now. Open your mouth and begin to pray. By the authority of the name of Jesus Christ, open your mouth and begin to pray right now and say, God, oh Lord, every satanic and entanglement, all the captivity of the enemy, I pull everything down tonight in Jesus' name. Open your mouth and call upon the Lord. Let God begin to have his way in our lives, in our midst. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. I want to hand over to Pastor Matthew because of our time so that I can take over now. Is Pastor Matthew online? Yes, I'm online. Yes, I praise the Lord. Uh, Hallelujah. I'm trying to get one of our Father and the Lord that just come from South Africa as my associate coordinator in trade of Politan in Bauchi, or I don't know, he's trying to hide himself. But if by the grace of the Lord, I have the privilege, I think he will be able to pray for us and God, by the power and the blood of Jesus, God is going to answer our prayer in Jesus' name. One of our Amen. Is wonderful. In the online yesterday, he tried to encourage people to put on their prayer meeting and prayer request. I pray that Almighty God will reward every one of us abundantly in Jesus' name. As a Amen. As my brother said, that uh, daddy said that uh, because of the time, I would like her to finish by 4.55 so that before the people in you know, other church take over. Uh, uh, Pastor Jacob, I think I called the name for it, sir. Uh, please help me, help me to unmute yourself. Pastor Jacob, Corinthian. I know I'm not doing mistake, but I had the pastor, and if I talk, Pastor Jacob Corinthian. Can you unmute yourself, sir? Okay. Uh, I see another person that used mask too. The person who can kindly please unmute himself. Mask too. Hello? Is the person able to unmute himself? I see the person that used mask too. Okay. Uh, so I'm expecting uh, Jacob Corinthians and the person that used mask too to unmute themselves. If not, okay, we... we are doing this. Huh? We are doing this. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, praise the Lord. Is it the mass too? Okay. Okay. Yeah, if I if I if I am on the mic. Oh <laughs> it is well. <laughs> it is well. The joy that Lord is your strength, sir. We are happy. What about the uh, Jacob Corinthian? Okay. If uh they come for a month to I want Pastor Mark before Pastor Chegun by five fifty, I want us to hear it. All the mm. prayer everybody are asked for. I remember Pastor Ali asked us about, if I'm not mistaken, I think uh, employment in a very high uh, level status uh, with his wife. That one involved his wife. I can remember Pastor Shegon about the job, uh, about the job. I don't want to say something maybe because of personal thing, uh, about movement. Uh, I remember myself, the ministry. Uh, let me look at all of us that we see online. Pastor ba ba Barney, work. Uh, Sister Esther 
Why can't I just give Mr. Esther opportunity today to raise his prayer request so that the pastor can pray for him? Then by uh, later, Pastor she, uh, Pastor Mike will take it off. Then Pastor Shego will round it off. We have only five minutes. Sister Esther, please, your request. I see your mic moving, but we are not hearing you. Maybe it's, maybe it's not a problem. Oh, okay. Uh, Pastor Mike, please round up the prayer of request of everybody. Because by December, I'm telling you, you are going to be dancing by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. Every one of us. And if you can start from May now, you can see what God is going to do. So every prayer we have requested, including Pastor Ali, including Pastor Matthew, including Pastor Shegun, Pastor, uh, Pastor Peter, every one of us, the mama that asked for the children, those people who are for the marriage, please conclude everything together and then help us to present it before God. Then Pastor Jago will pray for us. I think you have only five minutes. Over to you, sir. Let us pray. Our Father and our God, we want to appreciate you. We want to thank you because unto you shall the gathering of thy people be. Mm -hmm. I want to thank you because you have given us your promises, and your promises are ye and amen. Father, we come before you on behalf of all our pastors, on behalf of everyone who, Lord, we are looking up to you. Pastor Chegun told us, as he read from that book of Jeremiah, he said, ask and it shall be given you. He said that you may know that there are great and mighty things which God is about to do, about to show us. Oh Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus that all our heart desire, as the word of God said, that the desire of the righteous shall be granted. Lord, grant all our heart desire. Give us testimony that is beyond us in Jesus' name. Amen. And mighty Amen. God, Amen. Oh God, there are levels of testimonies. There are heights of testimonies. There are testimonies that will happen to a person. The person will be dancing without drum. Hey. Oh, Lord, I am praying. Oh, Lord, I am asking that in your mercy, testimony, oh, God, Father, that, we, that is generational, that will transcend from one generation to another. Testimony, oh, God, that is eternal. Testimony, oh, God, that will praise your name in our life. <laughs> Testimony, O oh God, that will put our enemies to shame. Testimony, O oh God, that will turn our life around. O oh God, I pray and I plead that in the mighty name of Jesus, you will give to each and every one of us tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We pray for all our brothers, all our sisters, that every one of us, as a leader, have been telling us that by December, Amen. Every one of us, without exception. Father, Amen. we shall have manifold testimonies Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for answering prayers. In Jesus' Amen. name, we have prayed. Over Amen. to you, Pastor Shadow. Please remember, one of our pastors, uh, we need to pay this, the school fees. How God is going to do it, I don't know. But we need to pay it. Please remind him, Pastor Shegun, that God should surprise our pastor in Jesus' name. Over to you, sir. A great God in heaven, we appreciate you tonight. Thank you for the, your, the manifestation of your power in this prayer meeting tonight. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for what you have started already. Thank you because of what you are doing. Thank you, because we know that that prayer request concerning our pastor that need to pay his school fees, you are already in charge and you are already in control of the whole thing. God will lift that request before you, God, that beyond his widest imagination, O oh God, Lord, everyone will, I mean, you will send help unto him from your holy hill in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Lord, I'm asking, oh God, that to mobilize the resources of heaven. Amen. Even on his behalf, Amen. oh God, 
There will be surplus and there will be abundance even for him, O oh God. And we come back here to share testimony of your wonders, of your marvelous deeds in his life in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Lord, we use him as a point of contact to every or every one of us on this platform going through one challenge or the other who are in dear need and they are saying, God, where will I get this? Where will I get that? The one says, I will lift up my eyes unto the east from whence cometh my help. Our help is only from you, O Lord. We are praying, O God, that tonight, O God, you begin to visit everyone on this platform, O God, one after the other. You begin to surprise us even beyond what we can even imagine or what we can even think about in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 You said that they that put their trust in you, they will not be put to shame. I pray, God of heaven, every form of uh, you know shame or embarrassment, mm -hmm. let it be a forgotten thing in the in our lives. In Jesus' name, Amen. Let this be a testimony for everyone, oh God. Amen. And even Amen. all other requests, oh God, we hand Amen. them over to you, Father. We pray you will attend to all the requests of our hearts in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father, because we know your are Thank you, Lord. In Jesus, Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 Thank you. Uh, we shall meet at the uh, ceiling line. Divine intervention in the night. Uh, that's in the eight o'clock your your time. Is it seven o'clock your time? Then two o'clock our time in United States. God will bless all abundantly in Jesus' name now. Um, yeah. That is informed by the grace of the Lord. You will see me for it. Thank you. God bless you. We appreciate you. Don't do it in vain, Jesus' name. We appreciate yeah. the Lord will be your strength in Jesus' name. And by the yeah. comfort that the Lord will wipe yeah. away tears in the name of Jesus Christ. This is the first one of all we share testimony in Jesus' name. Please, Man. just continue walking towards your heart desire, what you have presented before God. And if there's anything calling you of the pastor, we are going to be praying together. It's truly we need money, yes. It's truly we are sending more. But what God can do to surprise everyone of us, you can't just, uh, you cannot divide it. So please, let's continue to be walking towards, take a step every day. And by the power and the blood of Jesus, God is going to answer our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let us specifically uh, visit the prayer uh, platform, reply, pray for people. If you need, call them. All our pastors, call them. I mean, all our leading pastors, call them. God is going to be for them. It's like, I don't want you to go, but I just need to let you go. But the joy of the Lord will continue to be your strength in Jesus' name. Uh, Amen. Let's uh, see our hearts. We love each other. I don't want to say I love you. <laughs> uh, we are uh, who am I to love you? I thought you love me for the grace of the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> praise, uh, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Uh, Pastor Matthew, please, when yeah. is the US conference coming up? The date, please. I'm a, the same I'm day. Asked. When you look at my publicity, you will see it. The same day. They started our own start at 27. The Nigeria side at 23, but we are going to be using the same thing that from, from 23. But we will gather together. Oh, okay, all right, all right. Okay, okay. okay. You will see I use password that I combolize GCK. Yes, sir. Yes, I saw it. <laughs> I saw it. And that is a that is a great that is a great work. That is a great <laughs> please our uh, pastors, our uh, pastors, please. Like Pastor Matthew said. Let's always uh, respond to our prayer platform. request. Uh, prayer request platform. If you see prayer request there, please, uh, you should reply it and pray for the people. And also invite them for our program. As you pray, tell them they should not forget our online prayer. Let's also connect. Let's also connect. God will take us to the level where we are going to. Amen. 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 Yeah, people are presenting prayer requests now a day. In fact, this more afternoon, somebody has presented another one. So please, let us take it serious. God will help us in this. Thank you. God bless you. I know, uh, as I said, you love me. Thank you, sir. God bless you, sir. Bye, sir. God bless you, sir. Thank you, sir. Program.
magnify the name of the Lord for the forgiveness of all our sins. We are saved by grace. All our iniquities have been forgiven. We are made righteous through faith in, in Christ. I thank God for the blessing of sonship. For as many as received him, to then give you power to become sons of God. What a privilege. What an opportunity to become sons and daughters of God. Who, for, who healed all thy diseases? He is our healer. Let's magnify the name of the Lord for healing all our sicknesses and diseases. Let's magnify the Lord for redeeming our life from destruction. If it had not been the Lord who was on our side, when men rose up against us, we will have been destroyed. But for the Lord. We are kept by the power of God. Let's magnify the Lord for his keeping power. Who crowned us with his loving kindness and tender mercies. Who satisfies our mouth with good things. So that our youth is renewed by the eagles. In Jesus' name we pray. We want to bless the Lord for his faithfulness in saving souls, in healing the sick, delivering the oppressed, in through GCK. We want to bless the Lord for confirming his word through GCK. Let's open our mouth and bless the Lord. Thousands of souls have been saved. The Lord confirm his word as the gospel is preached globally. We want to thank the Lord for confirming his word by saving souls, by healing the sick, delivering the oppressed, spectacular miracles. From time to time, the Lord confirms his word. Let's magnify his name. In Jesus' name, we pray. Today, we have come before the Lord. In Psalm 63, I read from verse 1. Oh God, thou art my God, early will I seek thee. My soul tested for thee. My flesh longed for thee in the dry and thirsty land where no water is, to see thy power and thy glory. So as I have seen thee in the sanctuary, because thy loving kindness is better than life, my lips shall praise thee. Thus will I bless thee. While I live, I will lift up my hands in thy name. We are here this morning. And we want to call upon the Lord. We want to see his power and his glory in this place today. Shall we lift up our voice unto the Lord? That today we will see his power. We will see his glory in this sanctuary. Open your mouth and call upon the Lord. As we have come to see the Lord this morning, we will see his power. We will see his glory. In this sanctuary. Everyone present this morning, the sinner will experience God's visitation today. They'll be convicted of their sins and there'll be genuine repentance. Those sorting between two opinions. This day, they will come to a point of decision. 
to follow the Lord. Believer this morning will be strengthened. Believer this morning will be efficient, empowered, a new strength. Everyone present today who will see the Lord in his glory, in his power. Mighty visitation. Glorious visitation this very day. A new encounter with the Lord. A new experience. Desire to please the Lord. To walk with God. To know him more. In Jesus' name, we pray. We want to pray this morning and tell the Lord that the Lord will give us a new experience. The Lord will do something unusual, unforgettable in our every life to bring us closer to him, nearer to him, in Jesus' name, open your mouth and talk to God. We we'll begin a new walk with God. Desire to know Him more. Hunger and thirst for the Lord. that I may know him, that we may know him and the power of his resurrection. Want to know him more. In Jesus' name we pray. I read Psalm 118, verse 19. Open to me the gates of righteousness. I will go in into them, and I will praise the Lord, the gate of the Lord, into which the righteous shall enter. Want to pray? The Lord will open to us this day, gates of righteousness, and we shall go in into them in Jesus' name. Open your mouth and pray. The Lord will open unto us the gates of righteousness, and we'll go in. We will possess the righteousness of the Lord. This worship service today, the Lord will open us all the gates of righteousness. And we'll go in. In Jesus' name, we pray. We want to pray for all our ministers. In Psalm 104, Verse 4, who make it his angel spirit and who make it his angel spirit, his ministers, a flaming fire. I want to pray this morning that the Lord will make all our ministers a flaming fire. They will minister in the power of the Holy Ghost. The Spirit of the Lord will envelop all our ministers in Jesus' name. Let's open our mouth and pray. All our ministers, all our study school teachers, all our ministers, choir members, all our ministers, those ministry in the Austrian department, the college department, in the media, all our ministers. The Lord will envelop them with his power. The Lord will speak through them. The Lord will minister through them. The hand of the Lord be mighty upon our minister this morning. Power of God, we have to look them. In Jesus' name, we pray. Pray of our Father and the Lord. This morning, as the man of God, who mourn the pulpit, he will speak as never before. The word of his mouth is the word of power, and it will penetrate into every heart and life in Jesus' name. And this day, his ministration, 
our lives will never remain the same. Let's open our mouth and pray. We minister in the power of the Holy Ghost. Fresh anointing, power from on high. We minister life. And everyone present this morning, young and old, will be mightily blessed of the Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Our Father, we thank you this morning for this worship service. We thank you for your presence is here with us. Lord, I pray more than what we have asked, you will do for us in Jesus' name. As you continue, you continue with us. In Jesus' name we pray. As we remain standing, we shall sing from our consonant hymns and song in 39, 39. Power in the blood. Will you be free from your burdens of sin? There's power in the blood. Power in the blood. Would you over evil the victory win? There's power. There's wonderful power in the blood. Will you be free from your passion and pride? There's power in the blood. Power in the blood. Come for a cleansing to Calvary side. There's wonderful power in the blood. Will you be whiter, much whiter than snow? There's power in the blood, power in the blood. Sin stains are lost in his life-giving flow. There's wonderful power in the blood. Will you do service for Jesus, your king? There's power in the blood, power in the blood. Will you live daily his praises to sing? There's wonderful power in the blood. There's power, power, wonderful walking power. In the blood of the lamb, there's power, power, wonderful walking power the precious blood of the Lamb.
único shall we pray. A gracious Father and our Lord, we bless your name, we worship you, we appreciate you, mighty God, because of what you have done for us. And your son has purchased for us on the cross at Calvary. Precious, wonderful blood of Jesus that cleanses, that purges, that renews, and that redeems. Father, we pray today to be work in every life in Jesus' name. Father, give us understanding as we start your word this morning in Jesus' name. We bless your name because we know you have answered. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. You are welcome to start the scripture preaching this morning in Jesus' name. Last week, in our start the scripture teaching, we had our study in study 69. And the topic was Sounding Laws or Presentation. And that it was in the chapter, the book of Levit Leviticus, chapter chapters 11 to 12. God instructed Moses to give the law of clean and unclean animals and purification rights for the unclean to the children of Israel. The purpose of dietary prohibitions and demand for external cleansing of Israel were both sanitary and spiritual as well. God wanted them to be special people whose life, relationship, and worship were regulated by the laws of God. In Leviticus chapter 44, in chapter 11, verse 44, the word of God says, For I am the Lord your God. Ye shall therefore sanctify yourself, and ye shall be holy, for I am holy. Neither shall ye defile yourself with any manner of creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. And uh, the instruction here concerning the, the clean and unclean were given, number one, for health reasons. And number two, to help the children of Israel remain people separated from the ungodly society that were surrounded uh, them. And then in First Corinthians chapter 6, in verse 20, we see what the instruction of the law given to us as New Testament believers, as Christians, today we must separate ourselves from the surrounding society, either by eating, drinking, and in dressing so as to glorify God in our bodies. By the grace of God, God will help all of us. We we'll always glorify God in everything we do in Jesus' name. Today's study is in Lesson 70, and uh, that is the volume 2 of our New Study Scripture booklet. The topic is Identification and Cleansing of Leprosy. And uh, memory verse is in Leviticus chapter 13, verse 6. Can we have anybody from the from my front here that will refer, that re recite the memory verse for us? And the priest shall look on him again on the seventh day, and uh, the, and he shall uh, and behold, if the plague be darkened, somewhat darkened, and the plague and the plague spread not in the skin. The priest shall pronounce him clean, and he shall wash his clothes and be clean. Leviticus chapter 13, now verse 6. Well, thank you. Thank you for a very good prayer. Let's shall we open our Bible to Leviticus chapter 13. And I read, we read together in verse 6 after the count of two. One, two, go. The seventh day, and behold, if the plague is somewhat dark, and the plague spread not in the skin, the priest shall pronounce him clean. It is but the scalp, and he shall wash his clothes and be clean. Leviticus chapter 13, verse 6. We want a first reader from uh, the youth. Okay, thank you, our sister. I will be calling on to you. Read from chapter 1. I mean, chapter 13, from verse 1 through to 8. And the Lord spake unto Moses and Aaron, saying, 
when a man shall have in the skin of his flesh a rising, a scarf, or a bright spot, and it shall be in the skin of his flesh like the plague of leprosy, then it shall be brought unto Aaron the priest, or unto one of his sons the priest. And the priest shall look upon the plague in the skin of his flesh, and when the air in the plague is turned white, and the plague inside be deeper than the skin of his flesh, it is a plague of leprosy. And the priest shall look on him and pronounce him unclean. If the bright spot be white in the skin of his flesh, and in the sight be not deeper than the skin, and the idea of be not turned white, then the priest shall shut off him that has the plague seven days, and the priest shall look on him the seventh day, and behold, if the plague in his sight be at the stay, and the plague spread not in his skin, then the priest shall shut him off seven days more, and the priest shall look on him again the seventh day, and behold, if the plague be somewhat dark, and the plague spread not in his skin, the priest shall pronounce him clean, but it is but his cap, and he shall wash his clothes and be clean. Go ahead to verse 8. But if the plague scar spread much abroad in his skin, after that he has been seen of the priest for his cleansing, it shall be seen of the priest again. And then the priest shall, if, and if the priest see that, behold, the scarf spread it in his skin, then the priest shall pronounce him unclean. It is a leprosy. Go to verse 14. But when raw flesh appeareth in him, it shall be unclean. And the priest shall see the raw flesh and pronounce him to be unclean. For the raw flesh is unclean, it is a leprosy. Or if the raw flesh turn again and be changed unto white, it shall come unto the priest. And the priest shall see him and go to, go to verse, 20, no, verse 19 to 22. And in the place of the boy there be a white rising or a bright spot, white and somewhat reddish, and it shall be shown to the priest. And if when the priest see it is behold, it be in the sight lower than the skin, and the air thereof be turned white, the priest shall pronounce him unclean. It is a plague of leprosy broken out of the boy. And, but if the priest look on it, and behold, there be no white hairs therein, and if it be not lower than the skin, but be somewhat dark, then the priest shall shut him off seven days. And if it spreadeth much abroad in the skin, then the priest shall pronounce him unclean. It is a plague. Thank you very much. We will be reading as we continue in the teaching. Today, we, we have the study, Identification and Cleansing of Leprosy. Our lesson is taken from the book of Leviticus, chapter 13 through to 15. It centers on identification and cleansing of leprosy with emphasis on laws of diagnosis of leprosy, chapter 13 and chapter 14 go together. Each chapter is introduced by the phrase, the Lord spake unto Moses and Aaron in Leviticus chapter 13, verse 1, and also chapter 14, verse 1 and 33. The chapter closes with the phrase, this is the law of leprosy. In Leviticus chapter 13, verse 59, this is the law of the plague of leprosy. In a garment of woolen or linen, either in the warp or woof or anything of skin, to pronounce it clean or to pronounce it unclean. In chapter 14, in verse 57, the Bible says to teach when it is unclean and when it is clean. This is the law of leprosy. These laws show the high premium that God places on health and cleanliness of his people. That was why he commanded that the individual under consideration, that is, the leper, be, quarant be quarantined, that is, incarcerate until he was cured of his disease. In Exodus chapter 26 and uh, chapter 15, and in verse 26, the Bible says, and said, If thou will diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God, and will do that which is right in his sight, and will give ear to his commandment, and keep all his statutes, I will put none of these diseases upon thee, which are brought upon the Egyptians, for I am the Lord that healed thee. In third John, in verse 2, New Testament believers, we see what God has provided for us there. Third John, third John in verse 2, the Bible says, the Lord is telling us through Apostle Paul, Behold, I wish above all things that, Apostle John, Behold, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in head, even as thy soul prospereth. This is the will of God as revealed to us by Apostle John the Beloved. The individual under consideration was to be brought unto Aaron the priest, and if indeed infected, he was to be pronounced unclean. In our text, Leviticus chapter 13, and uh, in verse 2 to 3, 
the word of God revealed unto all. Leviticus chapter 13, verse 2 and 3. When a man shall have in the skin of his flesh a rising, a sky, or bright spot, and he be in the skin of his flesh like the plague of leprosy, then he shall be brought unto Aaron, the priest, or unto one of his sons, the priest, in verse 3, and the priest shall look on the plague in the skin of the flesh, and when the air in the plague is turned white, and plague inside is deeper, be deeper than the skin of his flesh, it is a plague of leprosy. And the priest shall look on him and pronounce him unclean. Verse 4, if the brass pot be white in the skin of his flesh, and inside be not deeper than the skin, and the hair thereof be not turned white, then the priest shall shut up that shall shut him that had the plague seven days. It will be for a time. And uh, we see here the individual under uh, a man pronounced unclean by the priest, then began a terrible separation. For he would dwell alone without the camp that is in lepers' colony, who will not be allowed in the camp, neither in the community. Dwelling alone was actually a living death. He was cut off from spiritual fellowship with the covenant people, and in a real sense, he will be without hope and without God in the, in the world. Leprosy is a disease that affects skin texture. It affects color and it affects sensitivity. Leprosy, in the real sense, symbolizes sin. And how it works in man, leprosy is contagious. So sin is equally contagious. And uh, the effects of leprosy is devastating. So also is the effect of sin. And that is why the word of God is warning all that there is need for us to live a separated life. Sin is very destructive. It leads to eternal separation from God. In the book of Ezekiel, in chapter 18, I read in first four, Ezekiel chapter 18, it tells us in first four, Behold, all souls are mine. As the soul of the Father, so also is the soul of the Son. is mine. The soul that sinneth, he shall die. In John chapter 1, verse 29, the word of God tells all, The next day John seeth Jesus coming unto him, and said, Behold, the Lamb of God, we take it away the sin of the world, and there is blood. Blood that cleanses, blood of Jesus that washes whiter than snow. Today, the question we want to ask is the question one, why did God command that leprosy should be drastically dead with? Why? Anybody, can anybody from here give us the answer? It's okay, because, my brother dear. It's because God cares about the health of his people and also the cleanliness of his Thank you uh, very much. We have this study under three subheading. Point number one, loss of diagnosis and quarantine of lepers. Number two, laws for the cleansing of lepers and leprosy in houses. Number three, laws for cleansing from other forms of defilement. We look at point number one in our text. We have read it in Leviticus chapter 13 from verse 1 through to 3. To all men, the leper was a living lesson, portraying sin of which death was the penalty. Leper was a symbol of sin, showing that